So friends, we hear it over and over again, no one is above the law. Oh no? Have you met Mark Meadows? Let's talk about that, because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So I just read some new reporting about Mark Meadows, one of his many criminal escapades. And it brought to mind two often heard refrains. The first, no one is above the law. And the second that we hear from DOJ and we hear from law enforcement agencies more broadly, we will follow the facts and follow the law wherever they lead. Okay, let's put those two sayings to the test. Here is some new reporting about Mark Meadows that I found in the Asheville Citizen Times, not even in the national news media. Apparently, Mark Meadows' crimes are so plentiful that they no longer register on the national news media front. Here's the reporting from the Asheville Citizen Times. Headline, SBI, that is the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation. SBI finishes voter fraud investigation into Mark Meadows. North Carolina Attorney General reviewing. And that article begins, the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation has completed its nine-month probe into voter fraud allegations against former Western North Carolina Congressman and ex-White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. The SBI announced December 13th that the investigation file had been submitted to North Carolina Attorney General Josh Stein, putting his decision on whether to criminally charge Meadows into the hands of the state's top prosecutor. Quote, Final case file documentation was submitted in early November, the statement from SBI spokesperson Anjanette Grub said. Prosecutors with the AG's office will determine whether criminal charges are appropriate, not SBI. So that story about Mark Meadows' North Carolina voter crimes reminded me of another story about another Mark Meadows crime. Here's the headline from NPR. House votes to hold Mark Meadows in contempt, sending a criminal referral to the Department of Justice. And friends, look at the date on that story. December 14th, 2021. A full year ago now. And lest we forget in recent days, here's more of what we learned about Mark Meadows. Headline, Meadows texted with 34 House Republicans about overturning election. Dozens of GOP lawmakers encouraged Meadows to continue to fight the legitimate 2020 presidential election results. So friends, let's go back to our original questions. No one is above the law. Oh, really? Mark Meadows was referred for prosecution one year ago for the crime of contempt of Congress, a crime he inarguably committed because the facts show us that he committed the crime and the law as applied to those facts supports a criminal prosecution and yet no charges. So what are we to do when the facts clearly show crimes were committed? And the law, as applied to those facts, clearly calls for criminal charges. And yet, no indictment is forthcoming. So what are we the people to do if it becomes painfully clear, indisputably clear, that some folk are above the law, and that even if the facts and the law militate in favor of criminal charges, no indictments are forthcoming. What are we to do? 
Well, friends, frankly, there's no good answer to that question. There are some bad answers, that, some answers that concern me. Let's just hope we don't have to get there. I mean, I could throw on the table another often heard refrain, justice delayed is justice denied. And I don't think anybody can argue that justice has not been delayed. The only remaining question is, will it be entirely denied? I don't think it will. I certainly hope it won't. Because justice matters. Friends, hang in there. I know it's not easy. Please hang in there. Please stay safe. Please stay tuned. And I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.